video, we are looking at construction 15, which is asking us to construct a rectangle of given sides. Now, in my example, I'm going to look at a rectangle where they are giving me the sides of five centimeters and three centimeters. This will all depend on your exam question. Uh, they will differ. So just remember in a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So that's also three and also five. First thing I'm going to do here now is I'm going to construct this baseline of five centimeters. In order to do that, I'm going to draw a ray and mark off five centimeters with my compass. Again, your examiner will always be looking for your rough work, your construction, so that's why we need to use our compass rather than just measuring five centimeters on our ruler. So I'm taking out my ruler and I'm measuring a ray of uh, starting at a point and going to infinity. So I'm just gonna draw a line here from zero and I'm going to infinity. The length of that line is irrelevant as we said. Removing my ruler, I'm gonna put a dot now at the start of my ray and that's going to be labeled as the point A. So I'm going to be labeling that the first corner of my rectangle. The ray goes to infinity, so I'm just going to put my arrows at the end of it there. Now I'm going to take out my ruler again and I'm going to use my compass and I'm going to measure five centimeters on my compass. So I'm moving the nib of my compass to zero on my ruler and I'm extending it to five. So I'm measuring a length of five here. I'm then going to remove my ruler and on my ray, I'm bringing the nib down to A, and I'm going to draw an arc here of five centimeters. So basically, the distance from A to that arc is now five centimeters. So I'm gonna mark that on my picture. That's the next piece of information uh, that I know. So I'm gonna write in my five centimeters. Okay, so there's our first side of our rectangle. Next side I'm gonna focus in on here is this three centimeters. Remember in a rectangle that this is a 90 degree, so I need to create my 90 degree angle here using either a set square or a protractor. In this example, I'm going to use my protractor to mark that 90 degrees. So I'm setting my protractor at A, and I'm going to put a dot, and then I'm going to connect A to that green dot, but I'm going to extend my line through the dot because we don't know the length of that line. So I'm basically constructing a ray again. So I'm going to slide my ruler over to A and it's gonna pass through my green dot and I'm gonna draw a line starting at A and going through my green dot. I'm going through the green dot. Now, like I said, you've constructed a ray. So I put the arrows at the end of it there to denote that it goes forever. And I now want to mark on that ray a length of three centimeters. So again, I need to come back to my compass and mark an uh, arc of three centimeters there. So first thing you do is take out your ruler and your compass and measure three centimeters on your compass. So moving the nib of your compass to zero, the pencil then extending to three, so it should be preset to five. We need to move that in now to three centimeters. This looks about right. And then I'm going to move the nib of my pencil, so I'll remove my ruler and move the nib of my compass back down to A. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to draw an arc, which is going to cut through this line here. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. So there's my arc. And I'm going to remove my compass. That line now from A to the arc is three centimeters in length. So I'm going to write in my three centimeters. So we now have two sides of the rectangle. I have a three and I have a five. Next thing I need to do is basically do the same thing again. I need to form the top of my rectangle and the right-hand side of my rectangle. So in order to make the right-hand side of my triangle or rectangle, I'm going to use my protractor again and I'm gonna sit it at this corner, B, where, where my uh, arc intersects the ray, and I'm gonna mark my 90 degrees again. So marking my 90 degree, and I'm going to take out my ruler and I'm going to extend the line from that arc through that green dot. So moving my ruler over to the arc, should pass through the green dot, which it does. And with my pencil, I'm going to draw a line from my arc up through the green dot. When I remove my ruler, again, you will notice that that is a ray starting at the arc and I'm gonna put my arrows at the top to say that it goes to infinity. I'm now going to mark that angle B where my 
arc intersects the original ray line and I'm going to put a dot there to represent um, my B. Next thing I need to do is create this length of three on this line. So I'm going to take out my compass. I'm going to set it to B and mark off three. Now our compass is already preset to three because remember on this side we set it to three. So all I need to do, again, you can double check it off your ruler if you want, but I'm just going to move it over because I know it's preset uh, on three centimeters and I'm going to draw my arc here. Okay, that's my arc. I'm going to remove my compass and I've now measured a line of three centimeters. So I'm going to mark that in with my pencil. So that's three centimeters. And that's the three sides of my rectangle. I now just need to mark in my five centimeters. So I'm just going to use my ruler and draw a line from this arc to this arc. So I'm closing off my rectangle. So I'm sliding my ruler up to my two arcs and I'm going to draw a line across my ruler. Again, it doesn't matter if I'm not making it neat. This is a line that is creating a rectangle. And now I'm finished. I've now created my rectangle. All angles in a rectangle must be 90 degrees. So I'm just going to mark them in. And I have the two angles marked as A and B. So I'm just going to go around my shape and label uh, the four corners. So I'm going to have corner C and corner D. So I'm just going to write them in. And that is the construction 15. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.